what's going on it's your boy coach this is day 81 and um, basically something interesting happened yesterday definitely a wake-up moment um, and a reminder of you know you can only push the body so far but what happened so um, I was in my strength training yesterday about halfway through I just I was yawning a lot and mentally just checked out my motivation everything was kind of gone I felt my energy was just completely depleted. How did I manage that? I just kind of put about 50% into it, kind of finished it up. I could tell don't push myself too far because I've hit that in the past and I'll discuss it here in a minute. But um, basically, yeah, the um, I just hit that point where the central nervous system is kind of overloaded and it's kind of the red flag saying, hey, you know, we got to take a quick break here. Uh, maybe um, recover a little bit, rest a little bit um, because I've been uh, points where, you know, in a calorie deficit, um, and you run them weeks on weeks, I'll notice hunger come up. And that's how I know the deficit is high or, you know, the body's behind on nutrition or food, you know, trying to catch up. So it had wasn't hungry after the work I was done. It had nothing to do with hunger. Um, I could feel just mentally kind of drained. Um, it's the process of, um, you know, going so many weeks, um, not just a deficit or activity, but mentally, you know, I'm in school. Um, our kids play a lot of sports. You know, we're very busy at home and do projects so yeah that's what it is it's like to me i've 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 encountered this before in the past and tried to push through it and that's where i've gotten major injuries just saying you know what it's just a mental thing push past that barricade you can do it and what happened you know that's that was the the end and so it set me back weeks or months and so i just knew last night that was it the body's done um calorie wise you know go have some protein have a little bit of extra food i actually had a lot of food last night um, but I know that it's not a surplus that's going to recover this. So I'm um, probably going to rest um, the next few days. I do have training tomorrow. So depending on how I feel going in, um, normally I like to push my intensity. But if it's one that I feel mentally like not there, um, I'll just, you know, make sure to get some decent reps in and call it a day. So, um, yeah, that happens. And if you haven't experienced that yet and you keep at the pace and you keep going, if you ever encounter this, then I'm just going to advise you, you know, that's the uh, red flag. The central nervous system is really important. It's important to listen to your body and what it's telling you. And so um, don't don't feel bad if, you know, you don't finish a workout or you, you know, you overdid calories on some day or whatever took, you know, a day of 100% rest and binge watch shows or whatever. You just don't know how depleted you are in the areas of your life in terms of your your uh, physical, your mental, spiritual, whatever it is. And on top of that, um, uh, it turns out that at our gym, we're going to do another six weeks of uh, another cut. So I maybe mentally, I know what how far this is going to go. I was going to go in another four or so weeks, but now I will be going another six. So what am I going to do? Um, probably going to recover. I'm just going to recover this week. And so in this today's myth or uh, common beliefs. I'm going to talk about something that is uncommonly talked about, and that's the importance of the central nervous system. And we covered some of the reasons why. If you want to go look into the science into it, go for it. But um, yeah, to me, that's like the the referee saying, "Hey, pause. You know, like take a break. Like let's, you know, you can only do so much. And depending on your age and a lot of other factors, like you know, that's going to limit how far. I do believe that we can push our bodies to incredible places, almost the impossible we would think. But there's also limitations of how far it can go. And, you know, you don't get, you know, on top of Mount Everest with one training session, it takes time. And so it's, this is the same in terms of losing weight or changing body composition. It doesn't happen in a short period of time. It happens in a long period of time. Or like, you know, I've talked about refeeds and that's generally with a high calorie deficit, but this is something different. You know, it's like maybe the lack of sleep. So I'm going to be focusing on that the next few days and like for sure is resting a little more, even though I went for a walk right now and it was six miles, which seems like a lot. My pace was slower and I was also using it more of a mental, you know, kind of entertainment break, you know, kind of, um, you know, just a, a reset, really not focusing on anything else other than just letting my mind kind of calm you know, calmly go. And plus the walk generally helps with leg recovery, which my legs are sore. So we'll close out the last week every day with maybe some good uh, psychological and mental tips, you know, as you go through that last week and things to pay attention to and really making sure that this becomes a long haul, long-term journey. So um, I'm going to end it there and we'll see you in the next one.